and big victories for me too were weaning off meds, getting off meds. I mean, that was huge. Yeah. I actually carried, I carried my heart medication and my anxiety medication in my purse for a year after I didn't take it anymore because I still lived in fear of having a heart episode where we would have to go to the ER and I was alone with my child. Um, and so that was a glorious day when I finally got rid of it. Yeah, I, did <laughs> I did the same thing for, for a year into it. I'd have, these, I'd have these crazy panic attacks and that was like, I'd always keep it in my top pocket and eventually it just sat there and I never took it out. But I just always had wow. it there. And I yeah, there, I totally can relate. You know, as a safeguard. Okay, if I get in a really yeah. tough situation and I need it, it's there. But the goal is not to take it. You were weaning yourself off of your meds. I think this is a topic that gets brought up a lot in medical mediums' lives and stuff like that. Because there's pharmaceuticals that people take. And in their mind, they think that it's relieving the symptoms they're dealing with. But if you, you can offset yes. those symptoms by eating right, right? So did you get off those meds like six months in? Did you get off a year in? Was it two years in? How long did it take you to wean yourself off of, off of all those meds? Yeah. Yeah, so the birth control, I just stopped. That was done because, you know, Anthony does actually teach us. To, I think this is important. A lot of women don't know this, but it feeds EBB. Uh, birth control pills do. So that was the first thing. When I learned that, I was like, that's got to go. The next thing, I believe, was my steroid in my immunosuppressants because I actually felt sicker when, it, when the rheumatologist put me on the immunosuppressant for the rheumatoid arthritis, and it never sat right with me. I was like, why am I suppressing my immune system? It just doesn't make sense, right? So I want to boost my immune system. So it took me about six weeks to get off the steroids because I was on a high dose and I was on it for a while and I wanted to do it slowly. Mm -hmm. So six weeks for that, for the prednisone, and then for the immunosuppressant that I was on, I think it was about two weeks. I just sort of was like, brought it down half and then I let go of it. Um, and I felt better instantly. I felt better not having those three at all. And then I started working on my pain meds, which was a big deal, because at this point I was on pain meds for a good four years. And I'm talking short acting and long acting, like big time drugs, Oxycontin, morphine, uh, Vicodin. They basically put me on all of it because when I went to the pain clinic and I was like, it's still severe, I can barely function, I'm not exercising. You know, it hurts to stand in the shower. Oh, okay, well, let's try this one. And they would switch me. And it was just, it was an absolute nightmare because clearly that's not the answer. But um, so those I weaned off, I think I weaned off of the long acting first. So long acting basically means it's in your system for longer. It's an extended release. So it's slowly being, the dose is slowly being released in your body over a longer span of time. So I cut that in half and then I cut it out completely. And I kept the short acting in, which I did every four hours, but very quickly, just from all of the fruits, the smoothies and the celery juice alone by supporting my body, I know that's the reason why I was able to get off of the opioids. There's, there's no other ex explanation for it. And I help people all the time with that, getting off benzodiazepines, getting off medications, um, whether you have any kind of addiction even, like alcohol, the key is to have lots of mineral salts and lots of glucose. And I believe that's the reason why I was able to wean off so um, I don't want to say easily because it wasn't pretty. There was lots of tears. I still had a lot of pain, but the pain meds probably took me a good, I want to say like three to six months. It's been so long now that I'm not really sure, but I got down to the point where I was like one a day at night and then I cut that in half and then eventually, you know, so I really cut it down over time. But there was a point in my healing where I was in an, a significant amount of pain I didn't have any more pain meds. I had gotten off all of my medications. I was still healing, but I was in a lot of pain still. And it was like, what have I done? What have I done? Am I actually gonna get rid of this pain? Yeah. 
And my chiropractor was the one who told me, she was the one who told me, it's, it's just all the toxins coming out, just hang in there, it's gonna get better. And a, about a month or two later, it was like, it finally started to melt away. And so that's what was going on. It was just those neurotoxins from the EBV that was inflaming my nervous system and it was causing a lot of, a lot of pain, right? Was that all within the first year? Yeah, I mean, by six, by six months, I was done. Cool. I was totally done, yes. Yeah. Wow. So. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> so you got off all those meds. And then eventually didn't have the pain. Eventually didn't have the pain because you were, you know, following the medical medium protocols. Yeah. So the big difference between Western medicine and even alternative therapies and practices, which can also put people down the wrong path, is that we're actually learning the root cause from Anthony. We're learning what the root cause is of our symptoms, of our conditions, right? And we're learning how to apply the information so that we can actually heal. And if they could only teach that in medical schools to, to help more people, right? Like that would be, it would be such a different world. I really believe that, but it's been really cool to see how big the movement is now. Like, do you guys remember how small it was back in the day? And now it's just so many people all over the world have this information and it's just, it, it's such a blessing to actually see so many people heal and apply the information. It's incredible. So yeah, yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Yeah, and you work, you work with people, right? To help apply the information and help them heal from all sorts of symptoms, right? Yes. So in 2017, late 2017 is when I started my nursing practice. Um, and I help clients all over the world apply medical mediums information. So I do nutrition recommendations. Um, so I do consults where I work with them via video or phone and, um, I do personalized care plans. So I actually do that for each client where I lay out what they do from morning till night with some options for lunch and dinner and then uh, supplement recommendations and other tips too. There's a lot of emotional support. Um, absolutely love what I do. I no longer work in the hospital setting. Uh, so it's really just um, helping people heal chronic illness. And um, it's just such a, such a blessing because I know what it feels like to have your life completely taken away and what it feels like to radically change your life to defying all the odds, right? Like you get to show up for yourself and get empowered and know the root cause and apply the information and get strong in your health for yourself, for your family, for your kids. And I'm all about it. I love it. <laughs> yeah. In the next video, Amber shares a special message to all of you struggling out there with chronic illness. Be sure to check out some of the other videos and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.